in the vast, sun-scorched heart of Australia, one creature rules the wild. Silent, cunning, and built for survival, the dingo. For thousands of years, the dingo has been both feared and admired. But beyond the myths and controversy lies a story of evolution, intelligence, and balance. The dingo's journey began at least 3,500 years ago when early seafarers likely brought these dogs to Australia. Over generations, they adapted, shedding their dependence on humans and becoming perfectly suited to the outback's harsh environment. Unlike domestic dogs, dingoes are lean, agile hunters with a flexible diet and incredible stamina. They can run up to 60 kilometers a day and survive where few others can. Dingoes live in tight family packs using teamwork to hunt kangaroos, rabbits, and other prey. They communicate through complex body language, howls, and even facial expressions, proof of their intelligence and social nature. But the dingo is more than a hunter. It's Australia's apex predator. By controlling populations of invasive species like rabbits, goats, and feral cats, dingoes help maintain ecological balance. In places where dingoes have disappeared, the environment has suffered, small mammals have vanished, and ecosystems have weakened. Yet not everyone sees the dingo as a hero. For years, Australians have debated, are dingoes dangerous to people? Once thought of as shy scavengers, New evidence shows a different story. On Kagari, also known as Fraser Island, tourists and locals have reported dozens of attacks, some tragically fatal. Perhaps the most infamous dingo attack occurred in 1980. A nine-week-old baby, Azaria Chamberlain, disappeared from a tent near Uluru. Her mother's haunting cry, a dingo's got my baby, echoed across the nation. At first, few believed it. But decades later, forensic evidence confirmed the truth. A dingo had taken the child. It was a turning point in how Australians viewed these wild predators. So why do dingoes attack humans? Experts say it's often about habituation, when dingoes lose their natural fear of people, usually because tourists feed them. Once that line is crossed, they can see humans as competitors, or even prey. Packs become bolder, following hikers, circling campsites, and in rare cases, attacking. Farmers across Australia have long battled dingoes for preying on livestock. This conflict has led to fencing, culling, and debate, dividing opinions on whether the dingo should be protected or controlled. Despite the controversy, scientists now recognize the dingo's vital ecological role and cultural significance, especially for indigenous Australians who've lived alongside them for millennia. Elusive, intelligent, essential. The dingo is not just a predator. It's a symbol of Australia's wild, untamed spirit. And as long as the outback stands, the dingo's call will echo through it, a reminder of the balance between life, land and survival.